Good morning, everyone. Uh, heading to a job. It's probably 30, 35 minutes away or to Richland, Michigan. Um, existing customer. I was out a few days ago, beginning of the week, around Monday, Tuesday. Um, today is uh, Friday the 3rd. I think I was out there Monday. Um, they got an older carrier. Um, it's got a, I believe, a, either cracked heat exchanger or plug secondary. Uh, the, the high limit kept tripping. So we're replacing it with an Armstrong. Um, I'll get you some video when we get there and all that stuff. So, yeah, hopefully every, everybody's having a great day. And uh, no matter what time you see this, good morning. And thanks for watching and all the support. See you on the other side. All right, everyone. Um, here at this change out. So this is... Uh, an old Weathermaker 9200. Uh, it's probably 30 years old, maybe. Um, so we're gonna end up. Uh, so the, the the limit was tripping, so the secondary is toast. Um, I was here several years ago, replaced the igniter. Um, I was here last year to add some Freon, and so these new homeowners they just wanna, you know, obviously have no heat, so. What we're going to do, let me vent through here. Well, what I'm going to do is spin the furnace around. Um, yeah, so that's, it's going to, the front of it's going to be here. Um, I'm going to put a, try to use a return air base. I'm putting a uh, Armstrong furnace on. Um, new, I'm going to try to go outside. And we're, we're about five degrees right now. Um, it's cold, so I'm going to try to recover the Freon because this is a laundry room. And I don't want to hang the coil if I don't have to. Um, so I'm going to uh, try to recover the Freon and then get rid of this coil. And just uh, we'll be back in the spring to set the condenser. And um, probably new lines because this is a uh, 5 8 um, So yeah, it's going to be a long run. Probably going to go through there and through the other room. But that'll be this spring. And uh, I'll keep you update updated throughout the, the the afternoon and we'll go from there now i have updates <clears throat> as you can see these carriers are notorious for secondaries failing you can see all the crustiness down there and all these cells this is yeah this is why it was going off on high limit so for all you people out there that have an old carrier system, I mean, I, I heard that there was a class action, class action lawsuit. Um, I could be wrong because I'm not a carrier guy. This is just from what I heard, but this is a very bad design. This is why they fail is the secondaries. So this is the update. So back to our regularly scheduled program. Yeah, I have updates. I should have, I should have knew, but no, known better to flip this furnace around. Um, yeah, it's going to be a pretty hard angle, as you can see from my my drawing. So Tyler wants me to lay it out, which I don't blame him. So I'm basically going to have to the sides have to shift forward eight inches and then um, I thought we was straight left but it's not it's gonna be the coils actually an inch over so it shouldn't be too difficult as long as I can focus on laying this out um, so on this return base i like using these bases um, when i use these kind of filters even though i don't i'm not a big fan of these old carrier filters i'm not going to reinvent the wheel in that so i'm going to have to make a little patch here um but yeah it basically being this is like 20 25 tall it gives us some extra clearance it pulls from the bottom and the side so yeah, i like these um I got it. It was kind of dented up. I mean, I 
straighten it up as the best I can. It's about the same same thickness metal as the Goodman's and Amana's. That's all I'm gonna say. Um, I got these from my from John Stone Supply. There's the number. Um, no, they they work good for they work good for this type of application. Uh, very not too too expensive, but. Yep, I'm gonna go out there and lay some metal up for Tyler and then I'll come back down and looks like I'm gonna have to reinvent the wheel on the vent pipes, but it is what it is. Um, I got the short radius 90s. I'm gonna cut them off and do some long sweeps. Everything's got to be shifted up here to the front. So, but it's gonna service serviceability. It's gonna be a lot better. Um, everything's gonna be access. Um, and they have some more room to walk back here for storage if they need to so that way it's not in this dark corner so okay I'll be back I got updates I got Tyler out there building metal um, and he's gonna be out there for just a little bit but uh this is the old exhaust I mean it's not even glue and primer and how is that even gonna seal it looks like they cut it with the sawzall and then and it didn't even, so it's been like that for 30 years. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna take this piece off and put a new piece on. And, uh, cause I gotta use some long sweep radius 90s anyways. That broke off, so I'll probably cut that off. Um, that piece is solid, and that's for the intake. So yeah, I just wanted to bring you those updates. And, uh, but yeah, it's just crazy how they did stuff back 30 years ago. I mean, you know, been doing this a long time too, but at least I glued and primed my joint, especially the exhaust. Crazy. And yeah, don't try this at home. See what I did is I doped the inside of the gas shut off. like that folks just like that yeah like I said don't try this at home unless you're a trained professional because if you have one mishap you won't get that on there and um, yeah it won't be good all right I have updates we're finally done with this change out it's been a long day but uh we finally got done it's a, it's a decent time it's uh 10 minutes to four um put my return air box on sealed everything up sealed that up we did the the vents those didn't turn out too bad for what we had to work with um yeah, the gases we were going to do is counter strike, but we decided to use the um, hard pipe there. I mean, that's a little wonky, but that was that was like that right from the get go. So that noise you're hearing, that's the trap filling up. Um, it's a little annoying, but here in a few minutes that'll that'll fill up and that noise won't be there. But we're finally done and it looks a lot better than. Then before they got room to access back here. Um, metal turned out okay. I mean, it was like putting lipstick on a pig. We had some issues with the metal because of all the angles. Um, but I was able to hide the screw ups with some tape. I mean, I hate using tape on everything, but um, it doesn't look that bad. I mean, I've, there, there was no flat sides on this thing and uh, yeah, it was a it was a fun one. Tyler cut it out and did the braking and the, everything else. He's still learning, so um, it is what it is. But they got some good reliable heat now. Um, you know, if you're in this area, this is Richland, Kalamazoo County. If you're in this area, give us a call 966-9595 Vantage Heating or 26 Comfort 26Comfort.com. 
uh, Battle Creek, uh, Richland area. I'm, I'm here. So, so yeah, um, leave your thoughts and feedback in the comment section below, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Yeah.